see bad news. More warrior bearing world champions for free. Gray, Terry, and Tax Team. Can't see us fail to survive. Box Machine Combat Tom vs. Rapper. Tonight and twice tomorrow. Richmond Coliseum. Text Orlando to 80412 to win tickets to see Orlando Jones perform live at the Hippodrome on February 28th. Man. CW Richmond, it's for you. Well, yeah. From stage six at Sunset Broadset Studios on the world famous Sunset Boulevard, it's the Arsenio Hall Show featuring the Posse with Robin DiMaggio. Tonight's Anthony Anderson, Ilyasa Shabazz. Sitting in with the posse, the singers from 20 Feet from Stardom. Plus, Anthony Anderson plays Who You Win. Now, here are Cindy Who. come out and see Santa Claus in a top hat barking. <laughs> My dog, what's up, what's up? You've lost a lot of weight. Did you start walking to deliver gifts and get rid of the range of it? Damn, you seeing Santa. <laughs> I saw a documentary and came to work the next day and said, oh my God, I saw 20 feet from stardom. And now it's Oscar nominated. So I was right about how good it was when I first saw it. legend to my far left. I've known her a long time. That's Tata Vega. Yes. The next generation of legends, ladies and gentlemen, Judith Hill. Right on. I don't think I realized Judith was that tall. The Lakers been playing so bad, they may have to go pow for Judith. <laughs> pow. I like the ring of that. Pow for Judith. Hey, Tata, how you doing? I'm doing great. You still look so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I love you. Yes. Thank you. So do you. Tata. Hard to make a man look you in your ass when your name is Tata. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You be trying, but you know. <laughs> it's like somebody saying, I'd like you to meet this legend named Busty, you know? <laughs> I love you, baby. It's good to see you again. <laughs> By the way, my name is Arsenio Hall, and I want to tell. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I just wanna, I just wanna tell Barbara Walters, I'm all the buzz you need, baby. All the buzz you need. Did you read about this? Yes, yes. During an episode of The View, Barbara Walters revealed that she has a vibrator. That ain't all. All right, all right. Ladies, she named her vibrator. Oh. She calls her vibrator Selfie. That's very hip. That's very hip. I mean, Selfie was the word of the year last year. Nothing says ratings like an 84-year-old woman <laughs> talking about her vibrator selfie on The View. I even watched, y'all. I even watched. Yeah. Hey, uh, there's nothing better than watching a good animal viral video. This one is from a zoo in Germany, and it's an animal I never really heard of, but I'm from Cleveland. It's called a mercat. Watch the mercat struggle to stay awake. There's the mercat. That's a mercat, y'all. Okay, it's those and all. Oh, what's that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's that hairy thing? <laughs> I hope that's his tail. Oh, that's, oh, no. Woke him up. Woke him up. <laughs> and of course, you've seen the commercial. If your tail stays like that for more than four hours, you should can. <laughs> I 
even have to tell the whole joke, y'all. Off on it, you know? Yeah, yeah but I was going to say call your zookeeper, not your uh, <laughs> physician. <laughs> but apparently, you've been there, huh? <laughs> like, honey, give me a phone. Ah! Thank God I listened to the commercial. Here's some news out of Colorado. After just a few weeks of marijuana being legal, state officials say tax revenue for marijuana sales has exceeded expectations. Yes, exceeded expectations. This is the first time in history that the words marijuana and exceeded expectations have ever been used in the same sentence. Wow, that's good though, that's good. The money can go to schools and stuff. 20 years, for about 20 years, this Saturday, he's hosting the NAACP Image Awards on TV One. Please welcome Tony Anthony Anderson. Anderson. I just want to give a shout out to the ladies over there. I, I saw the documentary, Beautiful, and you ladies are beautiful and you have beautiful voices. Yes. All right. It's kind of a tear right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Very special. Yeah, and your band is okay. Oh, they are. Your band is okay. Yeah, they are. Uh, dude, you ever read MediaTakeout.com? I do. I've been on it a couple of times. Oh, they... That's where I found out that I was having an affair with Nia Long. <laughs> oh, and how close to the truth was that? Uh, it wasn't that truthful. It wasn't, it wasn't that, that wasn't that close at all. I wish it was. <laughs> I wish it was. My, my, my best friend's sister called me. She said, like, Anthony, how could you do that to your wife? I'm like, what are you talking about? Nia Long? I was like, when did I do that? And remind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> remind me. Yeah, uh, no. Um, how, 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 20 years? Has it been 20 years you've been gigging and doing it? 20 Doing what? Me alone? <laughs> I'm I'm just trying to trick him. Catch him off guard. What are you saying, Arsenio? Uh, no, it's 18, man. 18. 18. 18 years, yeah. First time I saw you, it was with um, Jim Carrey. And it was a movie. You know how you laugh out loud at something? Yeah. You were his son. Yeah, yeah. Me, myself, and Irene. Boy. Yeah. Irene. Right. The movie, right? Until I read the intro. I forget, you're a vet now, man. You were a young man when I, I saw you in that movie. Mm -hmm. um, you've done everything. You've met everyone. Right. Anybody stagger you? Any idol ever stagger you? Yes, yes, yes. It, it, it's, it's funny to me, myself, and I, I got into that because of the girl. Oh. Uh, now, what do you remember him in? What your first impressions of his uh, Claudine, uh -huh. uh, The Great White Hope, oh, yeah, you know, a yeah, yeah. bu bu bunch of other stuff, man. And... Uh, we were it, we were doing the premiere of uh, me myself and Irene in Rhode Island for the Fairley Brothers, and I'm standing in the lobby waiting on the limo to come get me. And the elevator doors open, and out walks James Earl Jones. And I was like, oh snap! And he goes and sits on the seat, and there's a seat right next to him, and there's a table with newspapers in between them. So I'm like. All right, let me go over and sit next to James Earl Jones. Mm -hmm. So I pick up, I pick up the New York Times because I want him to think that I'm smarter than what I really am. <laughs> so I just sit next to James Earl Jones and I start flipping through the paper. I don't say anything to him for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. I just turn the paper. I want him to think I'm really reading this article. And he gets up and he walks away. And I was like, Yeah, damn it, the newspaper is upside down. Oh. <laughs> So he probably just walked away. I mean, who the hell is this idiot sitting next to me reading? <laughs> but 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 you know what? I, I was so awestruck of him, man, that I never said anything to him. I just wanted to be in his presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and and, that, and that's why I did what I did. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great man. He's a great mm -hmm. man. So in 18 years, you've probably done films from Mexico to Canada locations. What's your favorite or worst location? Uh, favorite and worst are the same film. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Kangaroo Jack. Yeah, Kangaroo Jack. And, 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 
first in a good way because you know we I, I lived in Australia for six months making that movie I lived in Sydney uh, for three and then we went deep into the outback for three months and then a week of those three months we went deeper into the outback into this small mining town called Cuba Pedi and that's 80% of the world's opals come from Australia. 76% of that 80% come from this one town. And so we were in there and the sheriff came to the production office and was like, uh, we advise you to keep your cast and crew inside tonight. And then, you know, the production office was like, why? He's like, well, you know, family's fighting over an opal mine. He's like, no, we'll stay out of their business. He's like, no, you don't understand this. They're throwing nitroglycerin at one another. They lived across the street from one another and they were fighting over an opal mine and they're throwing dynamite at each other, man. So that, that's why it's, it's my favorite and my worst, because I just sat back and watched this and just listened to these explosions in the middle of the night. But, I mean, you and I have been in some tough neighborhoods, but I don't even know nobody talking about... <laughs> yeah, exactly! Exactly! <laughs> that's crazy! Yeah. Uh, tell them about the brownie cup. Ah, ah. All right, the brownie cup is uh, a golf tournament that myself, George Lopez, Don Cheadle, and our friend RJ are a part of. That, that's the four of us right there. And RJ's uh, a friend of George's, right? Yeah, he's George's uh, comedy road manager. And the Brownie Cup, uh, we like to say it's because we're, we're all four of us are black and brown. But it, one of us has glaucoma and has a prescription for a certain type of brownie. <laughs> so every year we have this, uh, we, we, we meet once a year. I mean, we play golf all the time, but our tournament is once a year. And we just had it a couple weeks ago. And um, we play the front nine sober. Uh, and then somebody produces a brownie and, and we eat it. Um, and, we, and, and, we, and we drink on the back nine and we, we count every stroke. And, uh, and it's the brownie cup, man. We have a beautiful trophy that uh, we, we get to keep for the year. And look, Don Cheadle is our winner this year. So, oh. hey, Cheadle, let's give it up for Don. And we engrave our name on it and everything. And the only name on, on the trophy up until last week was me and George Lopez. George won three years, I won one, and Don uh, we had to go to the scorecard 25, uh, 24 hours later because nobody was coherent enough to uh, yeah, get the right score. Now, see, I don't golf, but isn't there a concept called playing through? Yes, playing through. Do people want to get past y'all's ass? Uh, they do on occasion, but you know, you know what's funny? I didn't know I was moving in slow motion the, the whole time I played the back nine. Yeah. Like, I'm still in the middle of the fairway hitting my approach shot, right. but Don, RJ, and George have already put it out, and they're waiting on me. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, it is the brownie cup. It is the brownie cup. It is the brownie cup, if y'all know what that means. <laughs> we'll be right back with Anthony Anderson. <laughs> Talking with Anthony, NAACP Image Awards. We're doing that tomorrow. Right? We're doing it tomorrow. Yes. You all check it out. This show is nominated. Oh yeah, this this yeah. This uh, show is nominated. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's the good news. That, okay, what's the bad news? The bad news is I'm up against Oprah. Man. Yeah. Man, they tired of giving Oprah awards. No. I'm gonna come out and announce your award, Arsenio, and if you give me enough money, <laughs> you may walk out with an image award yourself. Because you are the host, you can manipulate I can, I can this. Say whatever. How they gonna say? It's a secret ballot. Yes. How they gonna know the envelope say Oprah and not Arsenio? That's a good point. I'm okay. Not. Brother, I appreciate Come that. Come on, baby. Because you know, man. there's no way I can beat Oprah without us cheating. There's no way Oprah can beat you if I'm reading the envelope. Oh, um, okay. I don't want to do anything dishonest because in your heart, you don't believe that I should have that award. Yes, I, mean, I do. Really? Yes, I do. Because a friend of mine who's a writer at Queen Latifah said you told her you thought she should win. I lied. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're hilarious. You at least call me back and respond to my tweets. Latifa don't do nothing. I just said that because she was sitting next to me. You are hilarious. You know what? It's a tie. <laughs> Take that Arsenio. Oh my God. Yes. yes. Can we That's do that? That's what we gonna do. It's yes. gonna be a tie. Oh, that would 
make my heart cabbage patch. That, that's what we got. Your heart? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> make my heart cabbage patch. It's gonna uh, make my liver do the running man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? When I first met you, and I told you how funny you were in that movie a long time ago, I said, "Are you a stand-up?" Right. And you said, "No." I said, "It no. surprised me because you work and think like a stand-up." Okay. Did you ever try it? I, uh, why you want to make me relive my past? Well, oh, I, see, I, because you just said flat no then, and we were at a premiere, and I, but, but I, I just, I did, I did, oh. and and uh, it was an epic failure. Um, oh. What city were you in? I was here in Los Angeles, okay. in South Central, at uh, the Comedy Act Theater. Ooh, down the way. Come on, we used girl. to go there every night after. I know, that's why yeah. I went. Oh, okay. I was like, all the greats have come through here. Oh. I'm going to be great one day. Yes. I just wasn't great that night. Oh. So, I don't remember ever uh, hearing of an Anthony Anderson at the Comedy Act. I knew, I knew Tommy Davidson. Right. And I knew Martin Lawrence and all the young guys that were coming up. Right. And the MC mm -hmm. was Robin Harris, remember? I, that's why I wanted to go, brothers. Yes, but I, I don't remember. Well, you, you, you may not remember Anthony Anderson because I didn't go under my name. I went oh. under Tasty Tony, the one and only. If there's another, he's a phony. <laughs> You go on as uh -huh. Tony. Yes. And what kind of stuff did you do? Uh, I really didn't actually get to do any of my material per oh. se. Is yeah, that per se? Uh, because I guess they, well, yeah, I'll tell you, short, long story short, uh -huh. there were three comics that went up before me who were horrible. Good. Uh, yes. And so I heckled all three of them. Mm -hmm. Not so good. Mm -hmm. But I was funny as hell, Arsenio. Yeah, yeah. You killed from that. I, I, I killed from in, in the dark corner. Yes. And then they just happened to call my name next when I got the biggest laugh as a heckler. And I thought, you know what? I'll just go home. And I was like, no, that's not why you that's not why you came here. You came here to tell some jokes and tell some stories, get up on stage. So I walked up on stage and ten seconds into me saying, hey, they turned my mic off. Uh, five seconds later, after I threw the mic down and said, I don't need the mic, they turned the light off. <laughs> Bloodied and bowed. Yeah. Bloodied and bowed. Humbled. Yeah. Yes, sir. But, wait, if you remember mm -hmm. the kind of stuff you were going to do back in the day at night, why don't you go out there and do something right now? Like, just do, do your opening couple. Of... Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you go that way, and I, I, I usually introduce guys from over there. All right, so no, you right. go that way, and I'm going to come okay. over here. Can I do it from here? Is this good? Okay. Can I go that way? Okay, I'll stay here. Okay. Okay, I'll stay here. <clears throat> Get right. ready. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I saw this gentleman on Comic View, and I just had to invite him to the show. You can see him live at the Ice House in Pasadena this weekend and next week at... <laughs> and next week... Uh, at Milk Through Your Nose in Kansas City. <laughs> Put your hands together for the very funny, tasty Tony. <laughs> If y'all was here, y'all know that it's Sam Jackson right there. Um, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, when we come back, Anthony and I will play Who You With. I'm sorry. <laughs> met the partner of someone you know and it's not who you thought it should be? Well, that's why Anthony and I are about to play my favorite game, Who You Win? <laughs> so what we do is we send Owen out. Uh, Owen's a producer and a writer here. We send him out to the original farmer's market and he talks to people and chooses people and uh, we try to play a game where we match people up with who we think they should be with. Now, I give $50 to everyone Anthony gets right, and that money goes to a member of the audience. Okay. Yes. Where 
is Melinda. That's Melinda. Melinda, do you trust Anthony? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit? A little bit. Okay. You're going to get a little bit of money. That's hilarious. Okay, here we go with our first one. Owen? And your name is? Kristen. Nice to meet you, Nice Kristen. to meet you. Yeah, yeah, you I am from Massachusetts originally. Okay. All right. And how long have you been with your person? <laughs> December 8th. Okay. How did you two dating. They're nuns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're nuns. So he, he can't be that bad. Kristen, who you with? Okay. All right. I'm going to give you the three choices first and allow you to think. Is she with David, a grad student? Mm -hmm. Lloyd, a bookstore owner? Mm -hmm. Or Bobby, who apparently can cook? Mm -hmm. Bobby's a chef. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what is your thought process and would you like to confer with Melinda? Melinda! Yes. Who do you think? Um... Her earrings are kind of big, so she kind of, you know, looks kind of easygoing. Oh, I thought you were just going to say she looked easy. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I was going to give a body. But, uh... I would take out the bookstore owner, because that's too much responsibility. That's too much responsibility. Mm -hmm. Gone. Okay. I'm going with the bookstore owner. Oh. That's who I'm going with. Okay, now, he wants to go with the bookstore owner. Would you like to go with him, or would you like to argue with him? I want to know why. Why the bookstore owner? Uh, have you seen Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> and then look at David. I mean, nothing against those two gentlemen, but it just doesn't seem like she would be with David or Bobby. Have you been to the Grove before? Yes, I have. Have you seen the people at the Grove before? That doesn't necessarily mean that they've been at the Grove before. <laughs> She said she's been dating this dude That's since true. December. It's been three months. I have never seen this game turn into real housewife. <laughs> you are fighting for yours, baby. I Bobby, Bobby looks like he just got out three months ago. <laughs> okay, now we all have right. to have an answer. What would you all like to agree on? But you're playing for her. We gotta get an answer. Owen! He's right over here. <laughs> oh, David! Oh, David! Wow. Big pimpin'! Ta -ta, you got it! Ta -ta got it! Oh, yes! Yes! You know what? Well, Ta Ta still calls Owen David's hand. That's what I Ta Ta get the money. You guessed it. Wow. Ta Ta guessed it. Yes! Farmer's Market for the next one, Owen. Hello, sir. What's your name? Rick. Nice to meet you, Rick. And how long have you been with your person? Fifteen years. Wow. Now, how did you guys meet? Uh, we met doing a play together. Rick, I can't wait anymore. I need to find out. Rick, who are you, who are you with? Okay, you heard a little bit about Rick. Is Rick with Keisha in sales? <laughs> Lorna, an accountant. <laughs> She's an accountant. And Armin, who is an author. Oh, Armin, immediately people start screaming. Boom, boom! This is it! You saw his sweater, right? You saw his sweater? Yeah. His sweater matches I'm gonna go with the author. I say the author. You went with the author? Yeah. And maybe it was a playwright. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You all agree. Let's go out to the original farmer's market. Owen Smith, find out from Rick. Who you with? change things up a little bit. I'm going to take three members of my audience and I'm going to try to match them up with someone that they've been with and uh, we'll see if we can win another 50 okay. for you. Now, um, I'm going to bring out a lady and I'm going to let her come and tell me her name because this is a hard name. I think it's Slovanka. Slovenka. Slovenka. Something like that. I went to public school in Compton. I'll... Come on out. <laughs> you can stand right here with us. Is this Slovenka? Slovenka. 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 Very good. Is that Russian? No, I'm from Serbia. Serbia! I ain't never been there. <laughs> How long have you been with the person in the audience that you're with? Fifteen years. Fifteen, Fifteen years. years. Yes, oh, sir. 
painter. And what do you do, ma'am? I'm a painter. I'm an artist. You're an artist? Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Now, there are three people standing in my audience. Mm -hmm. Is Slovenka with Christopher, who is a web designer? Mm -hmm. Valencia, who is a real estate agent? Mm -hmm. Or is it R.C.? A truck driver. Yeah, that's my friend. R.C. Skinny Santa? Yes, sir. Who you think, boo-boo? I think it's a truck driver. I'm going with a truck, truck driver. driver. Perfect. Absolutely. You are in unison. All Here right. is the moment of truth. Anybody who is not in a relationship with Sl Slovenka, Slovenka, sit your ass down. Please, sit down. I think I want to change my answer. Slovenka, who you with? I want to change my answer. No, you can't. No, you can't. Uh, 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 uh. Anthony, once again, I said it earlier, but he'll be hosting the NAACP Awards. And our, the Arsenio Hall Show's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday, 9 p.m., TV One. Let's take Boo Boo her mind. Come on, let's take her money. Let's yeah, take her money. Yeah, she wants to twice and top her. Thank <laughs> you.